This video will be part of what I call my basic bike maintenance series. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to either swap out or install a bicycle seat. If you are somewhat unfamiliar with this process, before you get started, I would recommend taking out your phone and just snapping a couple photos with a couple different angles of the current configuration. Different seat posts have different configuration. This is a two bolt configuration. This is an example of a one bolt configuration and you would just loosen this single bolt to get the saddle off. So I'm going to use my five millimeter Allen wrench and since this is a two bolt configuration I'm going to start to kind of loosen these evenly. Loosen those as much as you can without the bolts coming out. So pay attention to where the threads are and we'll loosen this. Now you'll notice on this as with most seat posts you have a bottom plate and a top plate and the rails of the saddle fit in here. Now also your photo will help to know how far back or up your saddle was adjusted and you can put it back the same way. Sometimes when it's really loose you can just kind of work the saddle out like this. If that does not work what you're going to have to do is loosen what leave one of the bolts in and then loosen one and try to lift up the plate so that you can get the saddle out that way. Most of the time that will work. There are a few occasions where you would have to remove both bolts and completely remove the plate and then just do that in reverse order when you're installing the new saddle. Before you reinstall the other saddle or install the new saddle, wipe everything out real good. So I've taken a paper towel and I've just put some basic isopropyl rubbing alcohol on it and just wipe everything down and I would also recommend wiping down the rails of your saddle. If you don't what can happen is you can get some sand particles and it can cause some creaking. Before I put the new saddle on this is where the grease comes in. I always recommend putting just a tiny bit of grease on a bolt kind of working it on the threads. Now it's time to reinstall or install a new saddle and I'm going to put a little bit of grease on my fingers and I'm just going to put some grease on the rails and that will also keep the rails from creaking. Just a light thin coating on those rails. Now I'm going to try to work this back in. Hopefully I can do this without having to remove one of the bolts. And it's kind of hit or miss and sometimes what you can do is push the saddle forward and then rock it back into the channel of those plates. And like I said, it just takes a little patience. It takes a little trial and error to get these in. And if you're not successful keeping the bolts in, now I was able to get it by moving it forward. If you're not successful doing that, you're going to have to just remove one of those bolts and just do it with the plate lifted up a little bit. So I'm going to tighten this. Just kind of remember how much thread you had sticking out and then I'll tighten the other one. Now I've got these bolts fairly snug and I like the two bolt design because it's a little easier to adjust, really fine tune the adjustment of the saddle in terms of its tilt. Again look at your photo, make sure the rails are in the proper position and you'll notice on the rails there's a max line. You don't want the saddle back past that so this little edge of this plate you would not want the saddle back so the max line is past that and there's also a max line in the back. And to snug these up I always recommend a torque wrench if you have one. So the back of this seat post has the torque specs and if you can see that it says 8 Nm or 8 Newton meters. The last thing that you'll want to do is just sit on the bike and see how it feels and make sure it doesn't feel like the saddle is too far forward or too far back. So that's how you swap out or install a bicycle saddle. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if this video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up for me if you don't mind. Thanks for watching.